So if you ever wonder right now if I have enough in my savings account, if you think you're doing the right thing or not, this is the episode for you because we're going to break down exactly how much you need to have in your savings account by a certain age. So well, before we dive into that, bro, what do you think about savings? Do you think it's the right thing to actually save a lot? Do you think it's the right thing to invest a lot? What's your, what's your stance on this? Yeah, I, I feel like people oversave sometimes, right? For the people who do save, they oversave. They got to invest more, in my opinion. But then you have the people who don't do either one. If you're one of the people that do, don't do either one, please stay for the whole episode. And even if you do save, stay for the episode because we're going to tell you how much you really should have in your account by a certain age. Yeah, that's a fact. So everything we share on the screen will be in the description below. So let's get right into it. And right now, what we want to go over is just key saving stats for you guys. So the first one being, it says the majority of U.S. households, 98% have a savings account. So that's good, right? If you are a part of that 98%, that's good. You have a savings account. But now this is where it gets kind of tricky. And we're going to show you multiple websites because some of the data is accurate but then some of the data is not accurate because like some websites are saying different information so we want to show you all websites and they are as credible as possible so let's move on to this one less than half of u.s households about four in ten said they were able to cover an unexpected one thousand dollar expense like a car repair or medical bill and this was in january of 2022 so rel what is your stance on that like they're not able to cover the one thousand dollar savings but that's terrible i ain't gonna lie that's terrible because those things come up for example, my car right now, I got to go get brakes on it. Like, I didn't expect that. Out of nowhere, I got sounds on my car now. Like, oh, man, you got to be prepared for moments like these. You don't want to get caught off guard. And the thing is, that number is only going to get worse because people are strapped for cash now in this economic environment we have. So I'm, I actually fear for the country when it comes to that. That's a fact. And over here, we see, meanwhile, 58% of adults serving in June of 2022 said they were uneasy with savings. So once again, if you feel uneasy right now, and if you have ever told yourself, I need to have $10,000 saved by this year, I need to have $20,000 saved by this year, that is a random number that you're making up because every single savings account, every single investment account, every single expense, aka checkers account should be directly correlated to your salary and to your budget. It shouldn't be a random number. Right. So that's another thing you have to understand. And then the last thing that I really want to go over is this. Most American adults, about 76 percent, have not seen a increase in their emergency saving balance over the last year. That to me is extremely scary. Like yeah, very, concerning. very scary. That's concerning. That kind of goes on what I said. People are more strapped for cash now and it's only getting worse. That's why. Exactly. So let's let's move on to this. Right here's how much and this is by cnbc so it says here's how much emergency savings you need in this economy right this is in 2023 this is in may and this is according to financial advisors so now you're going to see different type of data so it says more than half of americans don't have an emergency fund and 40 percent of the those do not have uh do have less than ten thousand dollars so we're basically saying like 50 percent of americans don't have an emergency fund and out of that 50 40 percent of them have less than ten thousand dollars so when, when you really break it down like i have this whole thing here i want you to read it. i'm going to drop this in the description below but just think about it. this is by a financial advisor so they're basically telling you yo this is not good that you don't have that much safe and then this link is by nerdwatt this is what we just talked about most americans save but many cannot cover a one thousand dollar emergency so it says right here average savings near $1,000 per month. Americans who regularly save typically set aside $985 every month on average. These are people who do save, but if you do not save, that's not good, bro. That's that's just not good at all. And also, I know we're getting older in age. It says who's saving money on a regular basis, like all Americans, Gen Z, millennials. If you can see what Rel said is millennials are saving a lot or you guys investing a lot. So what, what is your take on that? Just just make sure you get that clear. Yeah, like there's a difference, like savings, that's money you're putting in your savings account. Even if it's a high yield savings account, it's not putting into the stock market, the real estate market, or you know, alternative investments. People pretty much just say, you know what, I made money from my job, so I'm gonna just put it in the savings account and make 0.006% a year. Like, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, killing me. We gotta grow our money. We gotta make sure your money is working for you when you're not working. 
That's a fact. And if you guys are looking for a high yield savings account, I think Marcus by Goldman Sachs is a great option for you guys. I know City also has one. I know a, a lot of different banks have one. So just look up the one that you think is the best. Those are the ones that we have personally used. So I think it makes sense for both of us right now. We wanted to recommend that to you guys as well. But now, before we get into savings by age, this is by Ally themselves and how much to save in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so, because it really does help us out a lot. So let's dive right into it. This is just showing you average savings by age. This is just average savings that they have calculated based on data. So if you're under 35, most likely, most people have between 11,200, 35 to 44, 28,000, 45 to 54, 48, and then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's the average. Now, how much should you have saved at every age? The fast answer says the amount of money you should have saved is unique to your lifestyle. What do you think about that? The money you said, yeah, I can say it's unique to your lifestyle. Yeah, I agree with that. I 100% agree with that. It says you can reach okay. saving goals by creating specific targets, amounts, and dates. I agree with that as well. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. And then it says find extra money to save by cutting back spending and or picking up a side game. Once again, three for three. I agree with both, all three of them. What do you think? I definitely agree. And and if you want to talk about making extra money, Milski, what do you think is the, the fastest way to make more money? So I have a different thing. Honestly, I would just pick up another side job, bro. Like you, you can dead ass, like if you don't have the ability to learn a new skill, right? Like you don't want to learn options, for example, like well doing, you don't want to start a new business. You, you don't want to do anything. I, I personally would say sign up for Uber if you have a car. If you don't have a car, go get a job at your local convenience store and just pick up a few hours. That's what I would say. Or, or if you really, really don't want to do anything, Ask to babysit. Like, there's so many things you ask me to do out there. But I would say this though: What's the best way to get a salary increase in your field? That's what I really want to get at. Oh, oh, I would say definitely switch jobs. If that's what oh. you're asking, like, <laughs> I would say if you guys already have a job, you've been there for a year and a half, two years, you have some experience. There's nothing wrong with job hopping. If you guys look, there's a lot of data based on this. A lot of people who job hop actually make more money than people who have stayed in that particular company for ten years, and that's a fact because if you think about it every time you job hop you get about a 15 to 25 percent jump hey you're beating inflation you're beating the same uh the salary increase that you would get at your current job so that's what i would do if i was you guys completely agree that's what i was getting at for real because people want to talk about oh man stop buying coffee every day save yourself 11 dollars a week like all right <laughs> like but that's not going to really change your your life circumstances but getting a salary increase from 100 to 120k yeah now we talking that's a fact when i was like younger i actually made a whole article about like if you don't buy coffee for five hundred like five dollars a day if you do that for five days it's 25 dollars four times a week that's a hundred dollars like yeah it makes a difference don't get me wrong but like it's not gonna make a substantial difference in your career which is why rel is saying like getting another job will because now you're not only saving 500 dollars you're making $5,000 more, you know? So Literally. it makes a very big difference. But let's go over this. So this is basically breaking down. If you follow the 50, 30, 20 monthly budget, and this shows you right here, your average monthly salary, this is showing you by age, how much you should save in your actual account every single month. Back talk does it different. We say 50% expenses. 30% is gonna be your investing, 20% is gonna be your savings. This does 50% needs, 30% wants, 20% savings. We cannot advise you like financial advisors, but we can tell you it's always important to do both save and invest, but let's just talk about it. Between the ages of 20 to 24, if you're making $2,890, they're saying you should be able to save $578 right? Yeah. And then it just mm -hmm. continues and continues like between 25 to 34. If you're making 4,000, you should go to save 800. So bro, do me a favor quick, like really quick, right? This says, let's just round this up to $600. Let's just say you're able to save $600 a month. How much yeah. do you save in a year, bro? 7,200, 7,200. Exactly. Now, if we roll up here, this says the average savings by age, this says under 35 right now, currently the average savings of balance is 11,200, but you just made that in one year, right? You know, you're, you're more than halfway there. So if you are able to save and hear me very quickly and very easily. If you are able to save 
$5,000, okay, every single year, let's just say you start working at 25 and you do that until 35. So, bro, 5,000 times 10. Do that for me real quick, bro. 50, they made 50,000 by 35. And you're already above the average of a 45 to 54 year old just in your savings. Yeah. And if you're saving $5,000 a year, bro, come on, that's, that's, that's not that crazy, man. That's not, that's not crazy. That's, 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 crazy. that's really not that crazy. If you're saving less than 400, you're basically saving $400 a month. Y'all right. could do that for us, you know? So that's what we really want to cover and let you guys know. Savings is a very big part of your journey. And so is investing. And we have a lot of different videos on investing, but we want to make sure during this economic environment, the tough environment we might be facing, we want to make sure you guys have this in your savings account. You guys have a high yield savings account and yours are good to go. Bro, any last comments? No, nah, just please take heed, y'all. Because like like Nooski said, the economic environment right now, it could get very spooky over the upcoming year. So you want to be prepared because a lot of people got thrown off guard in 2022. And let's not have that going forward, please. So that's a fact. That's a fact. But if you're still watching, thank you. We appreciate you. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Plus, hit that little notification bell because we drop two videos a week. You do not want to miss them, man. Thank you for checking us out. Check us out on Wednesday. But until then, peace. Peace. Soundstripe.